kind of learned, well, I kind of, I learned something today, and it gave me a bit of an epiphany, so I'm going to just try to, I'll, I'll tell you when I get to the epiphany part, but I'm going to just walk through a good description of uh, flat earth geologic science. What the hell is that shit? Um, so, in the beginning, God created the earth. Yeah, I think I can see where this is going. And it, it, it's a round circle with a granite base. Okay, and that, that's what we call the tectonic plates. Oh, I don't think so, Scooter. And then when the plates moved, this spot where it broke open would have pushed the water out. But these would have fell down this way. It only stands to reason that's how it would have fell. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and that makes our ocean. There's our ocean floor, and then the trench is in the middle where my thumbs are, like that. Boom. And then it fills in with sediment after it ran out of water, and these sealed. Once these hit the bottom of the, of the ocean, the underground ocean. What? Plunk, that sealed it off, so it was stopped the gush. That gush would have been coming out at such a pressure, it would have just been steam, it, it would have melted rock. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So, also, that explains why the pyramids are under the ocean. What? Because at the time they were built, before the flood, there wasn't an ocean. What? It was just sitting here, and when this happened, and then this happened, it left the pyramids sitting on the uh, off the coast of Florida and off the coast of Newfoundland and stuff in the water under the ocean what see it's the only thing that makes any sense nothing built them under there huh? Uh -huh. all of that extra green instead of water on top and the and the water underneath would have uh, increased the pressure and increased the oxygen which would have caused things to live longer which is why dinosaurs. I see. No, I don't. Uh, okay. And then the weird ones, like T-Rex and things like that, that was from the Nephilim. Banging them. Going around and sleeping with lizards and making creepy creatures. Sure. <laughs> if you mix sulfur, and I forget what the other two things were. I'm not a chemist. No? But if you mix these three things together and uh, and then just sprinkle a little bit of water on them, they actually will erupt. Captain Magma, get him angry and he's bound to erupt. Krakatawa! And they, they'll make a volcanic thing um, so intense that you, you can't hold the ball anymore. You have to drop it. It boils. Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. And that mineral probably helped the pyramids to run properly and keep the, the pyramids maintain frequency. That's what they do. That doesn't make sense. They actually, uh, frequency runs horizontally until it, it gets to a pyramid on the Earth, and then it runs vertically. It shoots straight up into space or whatever you want to call it to the dome. That don't make no sense! I hope you enjoyed learning a little something today. I hope you learned something. I most certainly did!